I just discovered the number one thing that Dyson is hiding from you when you purchase one of their cordless vacuums. And what I mean by hiding is something that you probably don't know when you're purchasing one of their vacuums with a fluffy roller. I'm gonna show you what it is and how to fix it and anyone can do this. It's super simple. And what am I talking about? It's that the wheels on the fluffy roller get jammed up with hair and they stop moving. The only things you need to fix this are a Torx T8 screwdriver. Don't worry, I'm gonna link everything down below. A pair of needle nose pliers and a tiny screwdriver. The first thing you notice is you've got four wheels, two on the sides and two in the middle. And this one tends to get jammed up with hair all the time, these two especially, and it makes it really hard to move. How do we take care of this? First, I'm gonna show you something that's gonna blow your mind. On the side of this here is a little latch, and all you need to do to get the fluffy roller out is to flip this latch open and pull this out like this, and you probably didn't even know you've got all kinds of hair tangled up right in here. So to get this hair out, I'm just gonna start with my needle nose pliers and just kinda, ooh, grab it. That is really, really jammed in there. Look at that, that just took about 10 seconds. Next, I'm gonna show you two different ways to get these little rollers out. First, I'm just gonna use the tiny screwdriver. You gotta make sure it's one that is strong enough that it's not going to break. And all you need to do is kind of put the, the end of the screwdriver in here, the little area over here with a little slot in it. Do it this way, actually. But this is where your needle nose, needle nose pliers are gonna be a little bit more helpful, so I'm just gonna pull it out like that. And that's it, you can see there's no hair in this side, so that's pretty good to put it back together. All you need to do is put it back in, and then I'm just gonna push this right into the slot. You should hear a click. Let me show you the other way to get this out. The other way is just with the needle nose pliers. Now you can see I've got a lot of hair here, but I'm just gonna grab a little pin and just pop it up and the whole thing comes out. Now, when you've got your fluffy roller out, you can see there's also a bunch of hair on the other side too, so just pop that off. And I'm gonna use the pliers to remove the hair. Look at all that hair, that is crazy. Now, the next thing is you might have hair stuck on one of these outer wheels, and so what we're gonna use now is the T19 screwdriver. This is basically a screwdriver head that has a star pattern to it, so. There are two screws. Take that one out and this one. If you want, you can use a bigger screwdriver just to get in here and take this off. Oh, there's my cat. This comes off like this. See, I've got a bunch of hair in here. Okay, this is where the source of the hair is. Put your T19s back in. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. You can see this wheel is actually pretty clear here. I don't see any issues with it. You gotta be a little more careful on this one, but we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this side cover. So get your T19 again and unscrew this. Be careful, that's the laser right here. You don't wanna damage that laser. There's another screw right here at the base of the roller. I'm gonna remove that just to give myself a little bit more room. Let's see if I can just like, I can just move it enough now. Now I can get the hair out of here. Put the fluffy roller back on here. Flip this down. And let me show you one more thing. I think that the fluffy laser head on the Dysons is a complete game changer. Even in a well-lit room like this where it's difficult for me to see the fluff on the floor from eye level, from head height, when I start up the laser, you can see that stuff easily. And this is exactly the way it looks to your eye. It is easy to see the dirt even when I'm way up here. Despite the fact that Dyson would probably rather you not know about this little situation, it is actually very easy to take care of. And compared to some other vacuums that are difficult to disassemble the head, this seems almost made to get rid of the dirt and the fluff that gets stuck in there. And I still recommend the V12, the V15, and the Gen 5 because of this fluffy laser head it is a game changer. If you have hard floors, it is the best thing you can use to clean your floors on a regular basis. That makes it so easy. If you found this helpful, get subscribed and there's another awesome video right over here. See you in the next one.